Hello, welcome students. In this topic, you are going to learn how to perform inspection on weldments using weld gauges. At the end of this topic, you will be able to use a weld gauge to inspect welds. Use a weld gauge to check the weld profiles such as leg length, concave, convex, throat thickness and record the observations in the given format. Let us now look at the types of weld gauges used for weld inspection. Welding Inspection Ruler Welding Gauge 1 Universal Welding Gauge Welding Gauge 2 Welding Gauge Welding Gauge 3 Digital Welding Gauge Welding Gauge 3 High Low Welding Gauge Welding Gauge 4 Economy Single Purpose High Low Welding Gauge Welding Gauge Welding Gauge 5 Automatic Weld Size Gauge AWS Welding Gauge 7 Bridge Cam Gauge Adjustable Fillet Weld Gauge Welding Gauge 8 Pipe Pit Gauge Welding Gauge 10 Skew T Fillet Weld Gauge Welding Gauge 12 Visual Weld Acceptance Criteria VWAC Single Weld Gauge Pocket Bridge Cam Gauge Let us now look at the preparations for inspection of welds by using weld gauges. Samples will be provided for inspection by weld gauges. Keep the sample at the place provided. Proper standing is essential for weld gauge inspection. Observe the bead of the given sample of weld joint. Ascertain what kind of weld checking is to be carried out. The weld gauge should be chosen based on the bead profile. Check the sample before starting the weld inspection. Weld beads must be clean to accurately measure the weld gauge. If the weld bead is not clean, use a steel wire brush for cleaning. Place a sample for weld measurement after cleaning the weld bead. Start the process by selecting the weld bead profile by weld gauge. Now let us see the process for conducting inspection of welds by using weld gauges. Task 1. Inspection of welds by using weld gauges. Study the given weld sample for inspection by using a weld gauge. Clean the weld surface using a wire brush to keep it free from dust, dirt and slag. Select the required size of weld gauge and place it against the weldment. Slide the gauge so that the top end touches the vertical plate. The gauge should touch the top edge of the weld to ensure the correct size. Welds with the space between the gauge and toe are undersized. If the toe of the weld is larger, the gauge has more space to accommodate it as shown. The vertical line on the gauge shows that the bottom toe is larger than the required size. If the weld size 12 mm should be checked for the correct throat thickness. 
This is done by checking for concave or convex faces on weld beads. The correct face of the weld coincides with the gorge as it is shown. The weld must have the correct throat thickness or size to be acceptable. If it is convex but less than the required leg size, not acceptable weld shows that there is a clearance between the weld toe and gorge measuring face. Task 2. To measure the leg size of fillet weld using AWS Standard Fillet Gorge. Place the gorge against the toe of the weld. Slide the pointer to rest over the bottom plate of the job. The leg size of the fillet is observed on the graduated scale of gorge. This is the leg size of the fillet weld. Task 3. To measure the acceptable convexity of the fillet weld. Place the gorge against the vertical plate of fillet welding. Ensure the 45 degree sides are in contact with both the vertical and bottom plate of the fillet weld joint. Slide the pointer to rest over the weld face joint. Observe the measurement on the graduated scale in coincidence with the slide mark. Record the measurement to find out the acceptable size of weld reinforcement. Task 4. To measure the acceptable concavity of the fillet weld. Place the gorge against the vertical plate of the fillet weld joint. Ensure the 45 degree sides are in contact with the vertical and horizontal plates of the fillet weld joint. Slide the pointer to rest over the concave weld face. Observe the measurement on graduations and the coincidence with slide marks. Record the measurement to find out the acceptable size of weld reinforcement. Task 5 To measure reinforcement on a butt welded joint. Place the gorge on the butt joint so that the pointer may be seated over the weld seam. Observe the measurement and record accordingly at concave or convex portion of the weld by placing it in position.
we are going to use the weld gauges to look at the essential points that need to be monitored for inspection of welds. Keep the weld joint ready before doing the weld gauge test. Ensure the weld bead is free from dirt, dust and slag. Keep all the weld gauges on the table while conducting the test. Keep ready with weld gauge specification notes for all joints. Recap Let us do a quick recap of what you have learned from this topic. The types of weld gauges How to use weld gauges for inspection of welds To check the concave and convex of fillet weld profile To check the leg length and throat thickness Thank you students, let us meet in the next session.